Hello viewers, today we are going to see about how to find the IDFT for the given sequence using DIF FFT algorithm. That is, the given sequence x of k is equal to 20 minus 5.828 minus 2.414 i 0 minus 0 0.172 minus i 0 0.414 0 minus 0 0.172 plus i 0 0.414 0 minus 5.828 plus 2.414 i. Here, we have to find the IDFT using DIF FFT algorithm. Here, the input sequence is in frequency domain. Okay. The input sequence is in frequency domain. We have to convert frequency domain into time domain. So, how to convert frequency domain into time domain? That is, uh, you have to take the IDFT by using the algorithm DIF FFT. So, DIF is nothing but a decimation in decimation in frequency and FFT is nothing but fast Fourier transform. So, you know very well about why we go for uh, fast Fourier transform in order to reduce the computational time and number of uh, multiplication and number of uh, addition has been reduced significantly by using the FFT algorithm. So, what is uh, how to compute this uh, IDFT using DIF FFT algorithm? That is, there are uh, two steps involved in computing this uh, DIF FFT algorithm to find the IDFT. That is uh, step 1. Step 1 means that is, you have to write the input sequence in normal order. Whereas, in case of DIT, the input sequence should be written in bit reversal order. Whereas, in case of decimation and frequency, the bit sequence should be in the normal order from x of 0 to x of 7. That is a step 1. So, what is the step 2? The step 2 is you have to compute the DFT for the input sequence. That is a step 2. You have 3 stages. That is a stage 1. In stage 1, we are going to compute the 8 point DFT. That is the first stage is we are uh, stage 1 we are going to compute 8 point dft so in 8 point dft what are all the uh, tidal factor we are going to use that is a w08 wm18 w28 and w38 here in case of idft we have to write uh, the tidal factor in terms of conjugate for w08 it is 1 for w18 it is 0 0.707 minus i 0 0.707 for idft you have to take the conjugate so 0 0.707 plus i 0 0.707 for w28 it is minus i so for conjugate it is plus i for w38 it is minus 0 0.707 minus i 0 0.707 you have to take the conjugate for idft that is minus 0 0.707 plus i 0 0.707 is the first stage 1. So, what is that uh, stage 2? In stage 2, it is an uh, stage 2, it is an 2 point DFT. So, 2 point DFT sorry, in stage 2, it is an 4 point DFT that is a W04 and W14. W04, the total factor value is 1 and the conjugate of this uh, one is 1 and W14 the total factor value is minus i, the conjugate of this uh, W14 is plus i. And uh, similarly, stage 3. In stage 3, that is the last stage, it is a single, uh, that is the uh, 2 point DFT. In 2 point DFT, that is a W02, the value is 1. So, conjugate of W02 is 1. Okay, so there are two steps involved in uh, computing this uh, DIF FFT algorithm. The first thing is you have to write the uh, sequence in bit reversal order, and st second step that is a stage one, stage two, and stage three. In stage one, you have to use the tidal factor. All the tidal factor should be written in its conjugate form. That is one zero point seven one seven plus i zero point seven one seven. W28 plus i, W38 minus 0 0.707 plus i 0 0.707. In stage 2, W04 1, W14 it is i and uh, for stage 3 it is the value is 1, the conjugate of this 1. One more thing, 
here in case of idft that is in case of idft the final sequence that is x of n is equal to 1 by n so many of the students have forgot to put 1 by n that is many of the students forgot to divide the the output sequence by the total number of input samples okay don't forget to put 1 by n into x of n that is the x of k so that is the obtained uh, uh, the output sequence so, okay let me see how to compute idft using daf fft algorithm so first you have to draw the eight lines for eight samples you have to draw the eight lines then the step one is you have to write the input samples according to this indices that is the normal order x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 x of 4 x of 5 x of 6 and x of 7 x of 0 value 20 x of 0 value is 20 and the x of 1 value minus 5.828 minus 2.414 i and then x of 3 value is x of 2 value is 0 and x of 3 value is minus 0 0.172 minus i 0 0.414 x of 4 value 0 x of 5 value minus 0 0.172 plus i 0 0.414 x of 6 value 0 x of 7 value is minus 5.828 plus 2.414 i so in stage 1 so you have to draw the butterfly between the 8 lines that is the first line that is the 1 you have to draw the butterfly from 0 and 4 you have to draw the line between 0 and 4 that is the first step that is the upper uh, the upper uh, butterfly that is the addition and the lower uh, end is on the upper end is an addition and lower end is on subtraction okay 20 that is sub addition and subtraction 20 plus 0 20 20 minus 0 20 and then you have to draw the another line from 2 and sorry 1 and 5 same thing addition and the subtraction minus 5.828 minus 0 0.172 that is minus 6 minus 2.414 plus 0 0.414 minus 2i this is addition and this one is the subtraction minus 5 point uh, minus 5.828 plus 0 0.172 that is minus 5.656 minus 2.414 minus 0 0.414 that is minus 2.828 I and similarly for uh, x of 2 and x of 6 same procedure addition and the subtraction 0 plus 0 0 0 minus 0 0 and similarly for x of 3 and x of 7 addition and the subtraction that is uh, minus 0 0.172 minus 5.828 that is the value is minus 6 minus 0 0.414 plus 2.414 plus 2i and similarly 0 0.172 plus 5.828 that is 5.656 minus 0 0.414 minus 2.414 that is minus 2.828i okay so the first the butterfly computation is over the next thing is you have to multiply with the total factor 
So in stage 1, what are the tidal factor? That is, you have to write the conjugate of the tidal factor W08, W18 and W28 and W38. For W18, the conjugate value is 1 and the W18, the conjugate value is 0 0.707 plus I 0 0.707. W28, the conjugate value is I and W38, the conjugate value is minus 0 0.707 plus I 0 0.707. So, you have to multiply this. So, 20 and then minus 5.656 minus 2.828 into 0 0.707 plus I into 0 0.707. Use the calculator. Uh, keep your calculator in complex mode. Okay, keep your calculator in the complex mode. You just multiply it. So, how to multiply it? Just open the brace minus 5.656 minus 2.828 i uh, press i okay and then close the brace and then again for next term open the brace 0 0.707 plus 0 0.707 i close the brace equal to what is the answer minus <coughs> 2 that is a 1.99 it is minus 2 we just uh, place it minus Two, and you have the uh, see you have the uh, imaginary part also so that shift equal to we will be getting the answer as minus 6 ok minus 2 minus 6 eight. that is a 5.998 it is almost equal to minus 6 minus 6 eight. similarly you have to do it uh, 0 into i 0 and then 5.656 minus 2.8 a to 8 and then multiply by minus 0 0.707 plus i 0 0.707 the answer is minus 2 plus 6 i the remaining thing you have to write as it is 20 uh, 20 and then minus 6 minus 2 i 0 minus 6 plus 2 i so this is the end of the stage 1 so next one is the stage 2 stage 2 is an uh, a 2 point dft so you have to draw the butterfly between the alternate lines that is 1 and 3 ok the same thing that is the addition and subtraction 20 plus 0 20 20 minus 0 20 and similarly here addition and the subtraction minus 6 minus 6 and then minus 2 that is a minus 6 and minus 6 is minus 12 minus 2 and plus 2 0 and subtraction minus 6 plus 6 0 minus 2 and minus 2 the value is minus 4i and similarly for this alternate lines addition and the subtraction 20 plus 0 20 20 <coughs> minus 0 20 and uh, here for this minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 plus 6 0 and then similarly minus 2 and then plus 2 0 minus 6 plus 6 that is minus 12 i then so after uh, completing this we have to multiply with the total factor conjugate of the total factor w this is a uh, 4 point dft W04 conjugate W14 conjugate W04 the conjugate value is 1 W14 the conjugate value is I similarly here W04 the conjugate value is 1 W14 the conjugate value is I you just multiply it 20 into 1 20 minus 4I into I I into I I square minus 1 minus 1 into minus 4 4 and similarly here 20 into 1 20 minus 12 into i that is 12 and then remaining thing the remaining uh, samples you have to write as it is 20 minus 12 and then 20 minus 4 so we have computed the we have completed the second stage next one is the third stage so third stage is some two point dft uh, we have to draw the butterfly between the lines that is here 
1 and minus 1. 20 plus, that is a 20 minus 12. That is 20 minus 12 is equal to 8. And then 20 minus of minus 12, 32. And similarly for this addition and subtraction. 20 plus 4, 24. 20 minus 4, 16. And then here addition and subtraction. This one is addition and subtraction. 20 minus 4, 16. 20 minus of minus 4, that is a plus 24. And similarly, this one, 20 plus 12, 32, 20 minus 12, 8. <coughs> okay. See here, uh, the input sequence is in the normal sequence order, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But the output sequence is in the bit reversal order. That is, you know that it is x of 0, x of 4, x of 2 x of 6 and this one is x of 1, x of 5, x of 3 and x of 7. Okay. Then you have to be very careful in writing the uh, sequence. Okay. That is x of n. So you have to write the, the final value, the x of n. You have to divide by n. Don't forget to divide by the number of samples. Here the number of samples is 8. Uh, what is x of 0? 8. x of 1? 16. x of 2? x of 2? 24. x of 3? 32. x of 4? 32. x of 5? 24. x of 6? 16. x of 7? 8. Okay. Then you have to divide by 8. That is the final answer that is the IDFT for the given sequence 1 that is uh, divided by 8 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 okay so this is the procedure to compute the uh, IDFT for a given sequence using DIF FFT algorithm there are two steps that is uh, you have to write the input sequence in the normal uh, order and the output sequence is in the bit reversal order. So, while writing the output sequence, we have to divide the total number of samples. Okay, the stage 1 in DAF, that is the 8 point DFT, stage 2, 4 point DFT and uh, stage 3, this is a 2 point DFT. So, in case of IDFT, you have to take the conjugate of the total factor and multiply with the, the output samples of the each stage. That should be the input for the next stage. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening.